Yep, time to finally reveal what I traded for in my epic trade. So, without further ado, ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! I'm going to start losing subscribers with that fooling around. I'm just kidding. Okay, yes, uh, it's finally part two of, uh, of my epic trade, the conclusion. See what I've got out of the trade. Welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, and yes, uh, I have been sitting on this package for about a week. Uh, very excited. I'm very happy with the trade. Turned out uh, very, very well. Uh, went smoothly. Uh, the person on the other side received the cards that I featured in part one. Uh, he's very happy with his side of the trade as well. So yeah, I think uh, all's well that ends well, um, and I can reveal, <coughs> uh, truly reveal this time uh, what I got. As mentioned in the first part, um, I did trade for a single item, and I will explain um, why and how I, um, in the first part I, I, I explained how to attach value, so that in, in this part it would be about worth. What is something worth to you? How do you, how do you decide? Uh, whether or not to go ahead with the trade or whether or not it's a it's a fairly fair trade um i mean it's uh, like i said you everybody has the right to walk away from the trade if, if they're not happy with the term so um you should always be you should always uh be quite happy with with what you end up uh with um otherwise you, know, you can speak up at any time i suppose okay so i'll uh, unwrap this baby uh It'll be something a little, uh, I've got it in a, a bulletproof protector that I sent with the other cars, uh, just to make sure it ended up with me in the same condition that, uh, that I got the pictures of. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a beauty. Okay, so I traded for the 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG Super treasure hunt on a short card. So there we go. This is the 2024 D case super treasure hunt. Okay. So um, if uh, some of you might be questioning my trade, um, I can give you the reasons behind it. Uh, others might be saying that it's well worth uh, the trade. Um, and, and, and I'm in that camp. I think I think I got a very good deal. I think we, we settled on it fairly. Um, it's it's a beauty. <laughs> uh, it really is. Okay, so three reasons why um, I thought it was worth trading cars of that value uh, that I put together in part one for the single, single super treasure hunt. Uh, three reasons. The first of which, obviously, um, is it's a short card super treasure hunt. Uh, so in South Africa we get we get short cards um, like most of Europe. Uh, we don't usually get long cards. Uh, all long cards are mostly imported. So finding a short card or getting a sh short card here means that somebody had to find it in the wild, um, and that all they are definitely more rare than the long cards. I, I think the just the distribution I think of the short cards they just even if you watch the European collectors, they just seem to be distributed a little bit uh, more sparsely. And the, the, the strike rate of finding short card supers just seems a little, a little higher than than um, uh, than what the long cards are. Um, so, so less supers per case um, as the as as they are distributed. Just just it just, just always has seemed that way. I don't know if it's a volume. It's just the perception, uh, maybe based on on volume. Like the Americans have big um, big retailers that that stock regularly. Uh, I don't know if maybe our markets and the European markets just don't go through that volume of cars, and that's why we have this perception of or maybe not finding supers as regularly. Um, but yeah, so first reason would be it's a short card super. Uh, second reason, I mean, just look at it. It's definitely it's probably going to turn out to be one of the best supers of 2024 
that I, I mean that is that's completely just my opinion um, other people will will differ with me some will say it's the best super of 2024 I'd go objectively probably top three let's let's leave it at that uh, we'll settle on probably in the top three of the year um, and then third reason is the condition the guy wasn't kidding when he said it's on a absolutely perfect card it is mint crisp uh, corners are, 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 are straight card straight um, it's got the blisters intact there's no it's, it doesn't there's no uh, pulling loose of the glue on the blister so it's it's in perfect this is just probably as perfect as you're ever going to find in the wild um, bearing in mind that that this has gone into a box traveled halfway uh, across the world and and been and been unpacked on the other side so yeah those those are my three three reasons three considerations when i put together the trade i'm very happy with the trade um i don't have a lot of um short card supers i will pull them out at some stage and just run through them at one stage i had a a, a fairly consistent strike rate of, of maybe finding one super in the wild for each year that i collected starting in 2013 um but even the last couple of years have been <laughs> quite a dry spell so um, i've traded for a few in the last couple of years I'll, I'll feature them as well um but the rest i've just gotten on long cards the ones that i really wanted the ones that i have featured on this channel before um so you know whenever we do get a chance to pick up short card supers uh we tend to to jump at it um because you you're bargaining on somebody finding it in the wild so so yeah that's um that's my trade um so yeah that this is what this is what what i meant uh, in the first video by saying uh, you know this is value versus worth so value was determining putting a, a, a money value on the cars that you have or that you're willing to trade or, or that you're considering trading so that everybody has got an idea of, of what what they have what they spent on them um, and then worth is whatever a person is willing to pay or part with to acquire something. And that just that counts. It's the same argument for any trade. It doesn't have to be collectibles, whatever, whatever. So, so this for me was worth it. Uh, uh, more, than, more than happy with the trade. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a good one. It's, it's really, it's going to be one of my favorites. Um, now I just have to find some short card protectors. Uh, those are pretty pretty scarce around here um, I've seen some of those diamond protectors the short card ones uh, they seem pretty decent but in the end we'll probably try and try and import a few so that's it that's the the trade concluded I am actually working on another one at the moment um, but uh, we've just hit a sort of an impasse uh, at the moment uh so yeah maybe i'll feature that in a, in a in a future video if if that if that goes through um otherwise next week uh, we'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming uh thanks for everybody that's been subscribing to the channel i thought i'd just mention that uh the channel's been growing slowly but steadily and I, and I really appreciate it please feel free to to leave some feedback uh in the comments section below even if it's just your your opinion on whatever previous videos this video uh, you can hit the like button if, if you feel like it. You can hit the dislike button if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, let me know how you, how you feel and what you think of the content. And uh, the, anything that you'd like to request, any sort of content, let me know. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay, that's it for this week. And uh, see you again next week. Bye.